Council. What we are demanding today is a binding ballot on Cressingham. We have been asking for this for five years. Labour policy now requires a binding ballot, but Lambeth Council, a Labour Council, refuses to give its residents a binding ballot. When my home is demolished, we will not be able to live with the same rent, increase of 25% in rent. On Crescent and Gardens, many of the residents are disabled people. We are the same, and we have the same interests. We need the same things. We need decent homes. We need secure tenancies. We need strong communities built by ourselves that are held together by our, ourselves, not by people from outside telling us what to do and how to run our lives. In Vauxhall they're building 30 to 40 tower blocks for the wealthy and for the rich. Embassy and for the American Bar Embassy going in there as well. And there's nothing being built for the working class community of Vauxhall. And we've had no consultation, no say whatsoever. So the demand of Cressingham Garden for a ballot is absolutely critical, not just on Cressingham, for every single working class estate and community in this borough. If you walk up the road there, you'll see the Notting Hill Housing Trust is talking about you could go and get one of their houses, or, or uh, what do they call it, contemporary apartments, if you earn um, under 90,000. Well, 90,000, I'm not sure many of us here earn 90,000, do we? Those are the kind of people the Lambeth Council, which is supposed to be a Labour Council, are encouraging. As a single parent, I am proud. With three graduates in my household, when they get a job, they cannot afford to move in and live locally. What? They've got to be earning more and more. And being an ethnic minority, they cannot get a job to earn to live in a place they love. Lamba said, we are doing it for the ethnic minority. We are doing it for the local people. We want to make your home warm. Guess what? Your home is damp. I've had all these excuses before. <laughs> they really make me laugh. We really laugh. Have you heard something about you all should be grateful? <laughs> Who is grateful if your home is to be demolished? Who is grateful if you cannot afford to pay your rent? Who is grateful to know that austerity is going on, 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 and on? What am I grateful for? I'm grateful being black and living in Lafayette and I'm poor. They have chosen over and over and over and over again to make ideological decisions such as spending more money to close libraries, do shady deals with GLL to put gyms in libraries that nobody wants, that people can't afford to use. So it's not really good enough to say that the government is making them make these cuts because of austerity. It's time to stand up against austerity. We have 700,000 plus empty homes in England and Wales alone. A couple of years ago, the estate after estate was being occupied. The Carpenters estate in Stratford. When 40 families were put back on that estate because we occupied it for two weeks and run it as a social centre. The example of the Ellsbury estate occupations. We still have council housing in our borough, but we have a council that's intent on demolishing our homes. The Ellsbury Leaseholders Action Group has been fighting the council's attempt to compulsory purchase their homes. In an extremely unusual move, the uh, inspector of the compulsory purchase order ruled against the council. So the council are coming for a second bite of the cherry. And on the 9th of uh, January, there will be an unprecedented three-week compulsory purchase order hearing. What we actually have is a triangle of evil operating in London now. We have, we have um, councils, we have housing associations, so-called, and we have developers. The councils do deals with the housing associations, like on the Osby Estate, and shove people into those, and thereby take away their rights from secure council tenancies to assured tenancies. 
Then the developers turn up and people are shoveled out of London in deals with developers. And hundreds of thousands of families have been shoveled out of London using this triangle of evil. We have something going on in Harringay called the Harringay Development Vehicle. The council is proposing to set up a private company with a multinational organisation called Lendlease and put £2 billion worth of council assets into this company. Lendlease will borrow money against the, co the company and use that as their contribution. Apparently we've purged the Labour Party of their Blairite zombies in Harringay. <laughs> we haven't purged anyone. The people of Harringay have got rid of scumbags who run the council. That's what's happened in Harringay. It's the ordinary people of Harringay have risen up and shown what they think of social cleansing. I think it was Einstein said that if you do the same thing continuously and you expect a different result, it's called insanity. So for all you people out there that went out and voted for Labour and expected to get something different because you had Jeremy Corbyn in control, you crazy. Because down here, you have the most anti-Corbyn group of labour rights probably in the country. The idea of getting people together in the next few months to seriously look at standing genuine working class candidates who represent their communities as a challenge to these people. I've always voted labour all my life. But please think who you are voting for. You will be voting.